Well, uh, hello again. Uh, today I'm gonna have a, a short one, you know, um, a kind of trick, a, vi a very easy trick to do. Let's say if we want to measure some uh, some batteries, you know, normal batteries or uh, small echoes like this or uh, even batteries like this. A easy way to find the capacity or uh, how can I say it? To no, if the if the batteries are still alive, it's to measure the amps. Normally, you can do that uh, by uh, checking them with a voltmeter, ammeter on amps, and uh, for a very short time you can you can short the, the batteries. You know, and you have somehow an idea about the capacity of uh, of the battery. And uh, I found something else, and this is really, really nice and interesting to do. You see this kind, this kind of uh, emitter. It's pretty powerful. I'm using this for checking my uh, solar panels, uh, currents, and uh, voltages and stuff like this. But mostly for currents. And you see here, I have a scale of 40 amps. AC and DC and we are on DC now so it's kind of crazy to measure on 40 amps something like this okay 4 amps and 75 well it's not so accurate you know these echoes are pretty well charged now but let me have oh let me have an old battery this is really really ruined and uh, it, it's almost leaking. Be aware, not touching these leaks. So this is 176, 174 amps. What about the 9 volt one? Okay, I got this one here. So I can say, you know, through the wire, I'm shorting the battery for a short period. Uh, 6 amps, okay, that's nice. But if we have a, a battery, you know, with lower capacity, this one is pretty used. Let me see what we got here. 2.78. Well, here is a simple trick we can do. We, we twist this piece of wire and make, let's say, 10 turns so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so we have ten here just make it like this a little bit you know to be steady and it's always multiplying the current ten times it's almost like a transformer so if you remember, we had the last one, 2 amps or something, and look here, now we got 23 amps, 22 amps. Why? This is a coil now, so inducing 10 times more voltage and current than before. So now it's much easier, you see, it's 20.8 divided, divided by 10, of course. Look here, this is even more than the machine can take. So we have the other scale on 400. AC, DC. Oh, it's 44 amps <laughs> divided by 10, of course. So this is a really good echo, by the way. Let's see this one, 40 amps DC. 32, 33, just touches for a, for a very short period. Okay, this is really strong, this is good. It's more than uh, 4 amps. And this one too. Well, like I said, this is very useful. In the moment when you have, uh, when you have um, a small battery or a small power source 
and uh, an ammeter like this pretty strong by the way then you can easily increase the range by 10 with a simple with a simple coil that's the idea that's it for now and thank you very much